Hi guys, welcome back. This time we're going to be building a rail car dock and also of course you got to have a barge to go along with it. This project all started with a great laser cut wood kit that I found from the N-Scale Ar Architect, easy for me, Arctic, Archt you know what I'm saying. And of course with this kit comes lots of interesting information about rail barges and rail barge docks and a lot of history that goes along with it. I've built a number of their kits before and they're always exceptionally well made, well planned out. You can see the parts here. They give you lots of bits and pieces, extra stuff to go along with it to make your kit just look great. If you take your time with this kit, man, it comes out really, really nice. Okay, so now we have the dock. We gotta have a barge to go along with it. So I did my homework and I went out there and looked for pictures people what they did with their concepts of barges and I'm a ship captain by trade so I've been around a lot of real barges and real barge docks so I have a pretty good idea of what to expect with this well here's one of the barges that I really thought that would work best I'm gonna make one kinda like this those uh, barges that have two tracks on them each from there you gotta make yourself a bit of a drawing so I drew up basically what I wanted figured out how it would fit and how big it would be you gotta have a basic plan to get started so I took that plan and started seeing what I had laying around the house I got lots of bits and pieces of wood and stuff like that so I started compiling stuff see what I had first thing you gotta do of course is start laying out the hull and I just kind of arbitrarily made it uh, pretty much what my picture looked like. And you want to start setting up where things are going to fit. So now I've got the top and the bottom and the sides. I haven't got any ends yet. Now cutting this sheet balsa, you got to be really careful. It has a tendency to bugger up on you. And of course you got to have something to glue against. So I put in some background bits on the sides. When you put these side and I also put a center support beam in just to make it stronger, make sure that they're nice and 90 degrees. Make sure they're plumb and square. Then putting the ends on, I had to kind of mess around with the ends some because it just didn't want to fit right. And of course, what comes next is the top. Here you have the basic box. It almost looks like something, but still pretty rough. I have a lot of work to do left on it. From there, all these barges, almost all of them I should say, have rub rails on the side to keep from banging up the actual material that the barge is made with. Also have to have some end bits and some side bits for covering up all the excess holes and stuff like that. Now the next question was, do I want to use flex track on here or do I want to lay the track? flex track of course would be a lot faster but if I were to lay the track it would come out a lot better so I decided I'm going to lay the track rather than use scratch building so I built a, a guide so I can get this track on the barge straight and square there you see me using the guide once I have the track glued down then I have to put the barge deck on you'll also notice that I've already painted the hull of the the barge. Of course we gotta put some bollards on there to tie up. And here you have the finished rail car barge. What do you think? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty much just like the picture that I drew. This project took me, oh, including the two bits, the dock and the barge, probably eight hours of having fun. If you guys wanna have a cool thing on your layout, you might want to look into this barge dock and build yourself a barge. Thanks for joining us. See you later. Bye now.